Which brings us to my favorite feature, Word War. Word War is, as far as I know, the only online multiplayer competitive writing game. So what you do here is you enter a nickname that you want to use for your Word War session. Obviously, I've entered my nickname. And you click Connect. This connects you to the Word War servers and generates for you a unique Word War ID. This ID works just for this Word War session. And what you do with it is you give it to another friend who also has Write or Die Desktop Edition. And once you do that, once they're logged in and connected, they can enter in your unique ID and start a Word War session with you. When someone wants to have a Word War with you, this screen will pop up, showing the user's nickname as well as a short message. And you can say no thanks and it'll tell them that you're writing, you're busy, uh, try again later. Or you can say accept, which then tells them that you want to have a word war. And in here you can set the word goal, and that is populated across the boxes so it's it sends it over the wire so that your opponents word war box is updated they can update either the time or the word goal both of you can and it'll get sent right over I just sent that from the other box you can change it send it again no I want to do 45 and it'll send it over and And then you click ready, and it sends a message to your opponent that says you're ready. And then when your opponent is ready, you can click write. And once you press the write button, you are now writing competitively. You can see up here your your words, your opponent's words, and the time as your opponent types his or her progress bar will increase. As you type your progress bar will increase. I obviously have some catching up to do. Another thing to notice, copy and paste, or pasting anyway, will not save you from consequences. It's also cheating, especially when you use it in competitive mode. So that's how that works. And uh, when you're done, you'll be able to bring the chat back up and gloat over how many words you wrote. And you'll know when you're done because there will be either a victory sound or a defeat sound. And in this way, you will win NaNoWriMo.